Hi friends, are you desperately looking for accelerating your career but not finding a suitable or trustworthy place to get in? Then watch this video carefully till the end because I'm going to introduce you to an online training institution which provides the best digital tuition to youngsters and working professionals in all domains. SkillReady, an e-learning and distance education platform, is determined to train people with high aspiration. If you think your current education is not helping to get your dream job, then you can register to SkillReady as a student or if you like to share your knowledge globally, then register yourself as a trainer or faculty. Type www.skillery.com on your browser. Click on sign in and then log in with the same email ID and password that you have used to create your Skillery account. Once you log into your Skillery successfully, you can go to My Course tab on the right hand side of the home page. My Course consists of three different tabs. First is Learning tab, wherein it will list out all the courses you have enrolled for. Next, there is a Teaching tab which is basically the bunch of courses that you would teach. And third one is wishlist tab. Since it is a new account, I don't have courses in learning, teaching and wishlist tab. As you have opted for teaching, you need to click on the teaching tab and then select create course option on the rightmost corner of that page to create your own course. Now Skillery gives you the option to choose between two options. One is live class and the other one is recorded class. Live classes of Skillery can be defined as teacher-driven classes where teachers deliver their lecture live on a platform using webcam, whiteboard, audio, video and many other digital learning tools. On the other hand, recorded classes are the one where you upload a content or a video by yourself. Right now, I'm going to create a live class. When you choose live class, there are a couple of options that you get. Skillery asks you whether the live class is only once or daily or weekly. If you choose once, you can take this class only once, but it will not be available for users to extend the class or attend on a daily basis. For a demo purpose, I will choose daily and now for daily classes, I have to enter class duration or start date end date along with the time. If you like to opt for weekly classes, you have to specifically mention the day on which you want to schedule your class followed by their duration. To continue with our weekly class option, here I have entered the start date and end date. Now I have to specify class duration as well. Let's select 3 pm as start time and the class duration one can choose maximum up to 8 hours because Currently, that is the highest stretch that we have on Skillery website. So beyond that, you can create multiple classes. Right now, let me choose two hours for my classes. The next tab that you need to fill is enrollment details. This section is nothing but a tab where students can enroll till a certain date fixed by you. For example, the training is starting from today and I want my students to enroll till next week. So choose that particular date and time till when you want your students to be enrolled. Post this, further enrollment of students will be restricted after that specific date and time mentioned by you above. No new pupil will be able to enroll for the course. So be careful while selecting this tenure. Since I have filled up all the details, let me go ahead with creating the course. Oh ho, I missed out to provide one of the most important information that is what do I want to teach or the course name? I would like to teach aptitude. So my course name goes like this, aptitude training for engineers. Now click on create. On the rightmost corner of the page, a green color pop-up will appear stating your course has been successfully created, but that does not mean that it is available for users. There are multiple steps that you need to check before publishing the course to end users. Let's check the content of the page. It says create your course, which contains couple of information like how to plan and prepare with Skillery, how to submit your course, what happens after the course publication, etc. The same are available in the comment section or in description section. 
which you can check out later by creating an account with Skillery. However, for better understanding and clarity, I will take you through all these details step by step. On the right hand side, you can see there are two tabs where the first one says preview as an instructor or as a guest and the second one opt for submit review. Please note, any training that you create through Skillery needs to be submitted for review to our admin. Skillery admins have all the rights to reject your course if they find any inappropriate or incorrect content in it. Admins will leave their comments, reason to reject or recommendations for your reference. You need to make those necessary changes and submit your course content again. Since I don't have any other details to be filled in, apart from training name and the schedule, in this present circumstances, even if I try to submit the course, a dialog box with an error message appears saying that, make sure you add all the basic information about your course, add a swanky course image to show off your stuff, share at least one of your course goals and objectives, etc. Now, I would like to draw your attention towards your left side screen where you can find lots of options. Here I need to select curriculum tab under course content where I will start entering all required details. First thing you have to do is you need to have at least one course listed and published in your course section before you submit for review to the admins. In the current scenario, I need to add an introduction and click on the right hand side tick mark to save it. Next, I will name the section 1 as chapter 1 and then click on the right hand side tick mark to save it. In chapter 1, the first lecture that I would have is introduction. In introduction, I would add a text content where I have to briefly write about aptitude and then save it. This is very basic and whenever you need to create a live training, you need to have at least one lecture which has been documented and published. So right now, I have named the section as chapter 1, then lecture 1 which is introduction and I have also added a description and content. Now your content is ready to publish, so click on publish. Your course is published successfully. Then I would like to move on to course info and then click on basic where basic information needs to be entered. Title is already there as aptitude training for engineers. I have to provide a subtitle. In case you want to add any keyword, you can mention it in the keywords box. If not, move on to the category. Since this is an aptitude training, I would like to categorize my course as math and science. You can add subcategory if required. In the next step, by default, we have English language here, so I will keep it as it is. Now go forward and press save tab. Immediately a dialog box will appear on the right top corner of the page confirming that my basic course information is saved successfully. Now I will check out the details tab on your left hand side. In details, I have to summarize the course in course summary section. Here I am adding less detail for example, but you have to provide a proper note or brief about the course. Then you have to also add the course goal. In this tab, you have to clearly mention what is your main aim or why do you want to teach this subject. Then click on add. Next, I will add engineering students as my intended audience. Then click on add. After that, you have to specify mandatory requirements in course requirements section. Now for aptitude training, basic knowledge of mathematics is mandatory. So I will mention that and add it. In the next step, multiple options for instruction level will appear. I would like to choose all levels. Then it asks for admin discount to confirm whether it is active or not. Since we are going to make this course free, we can keep it as active. After filling up all the information, click on save. A dialog box will appear on the right top corner of the page confirming that my course details are saved successfully. The next tab on your right hand side is image. Here you have to place an appropriate image related to your course and which will make your course stand out. Let me choose a perfect image for aptitude course and here it is. 
we'll place it and correct alignment and click on the image itself to save it. Still there are two more options on your left hand side screen namely promo video and test video. Once you click on promo video, a new page will open asking for video preview. You can add this video by your own or you can pick any relevant video from YouTube and place that link here. Similarly, a test video also can be added. Since it is not mandatory to add promo video or test video for creating a course, you can skip that step also. Next you can see couple of course settings on your left hand side. The first option is privacy where you can make your course public or private. I click on privacy and then I will select public so that anyone who logs into Skillery can view and attend this course. If you choose to keep your course as private, then people who are coming to the platform won't be able to view or access it. It is completely private. In case you want to opt for private, then it is either on invitation only or password protected. If you select password protected, you are also supposed to give the password so that everybody can view the course but only those can access it who have the password. In case of invitation only, you need to mention all those registered users details and then click on add user. Now only those users will get course invite and can avail the same. Next, there is something called pricing tab on your left hand side. So if you want to define some price for this course, you can add it here. But since I'm not a premium instructor, I won't be able to add this unless I get the privilege from Skillery admin. So as of now, I'm not adding any price to my course and making it free. The second last option you can see on your left side screen is manage instructor. Click on it. Since I have created this training, my name will appear by default as an instructor. Here you can add other users also as an instructor so that they can take the class on your behalf. For that, you have to provide the mail address of that particular person and click on add user. As I want it to be a single instructor training, I will ignore this part as well. Apart from this, there are two more columns on your left side screen called survey and help. At this point of time, let's not go into those details. I have mentioned all the required information and now I am eligible to click on submit review. An error dialog box appears saying make sure you have at least one published lecture with description. So let me go back to my curriculum and check if there is a course with description. Here I can see I have a course which is published but missing out description. Let me add a description. Now click on save. Now all the necessary fields are filled up and finally I will click on submit review. Once my course is submitted, a dialog box will appear with the same message that your course is uploaded and is pending for approval. Later it will be sent to Skillery admins. You can contact the admins by using the phone number that is available on Skillery contact us page or drop a message there along with your details and they will surely respond at the earliest. Now I will call Skillery admins and ask them to review and approve my course. If your course passes the review successfully, then it will get approved and will be successfully published on Skillery website. I just got a confirmation from Skillery admin that my course is approved. Now let me refresh the page and check if my course is approved. Yes, it is approved now. As it is approved, my course is visible for everyone to access and enroll. Let me click on it. Since I'm the trainer and the class timing has already been started, I can click on join meeting button and start my class. I hope you have understood on how to create a live course. Please write us if you need more details or call us on the number which is listed on Skillery contact us page. So what are you waiting for? Go on and create lots of courses for your students. Thank you.